Hello, faith leaders, and welcome to Break Time. Today's proverb is 27.7. One who is full loathes honey from the comb, but to the hungry, even what is bitter tastes sweet. Um, have you, I, I've never been around a honeycomb, but I know that it's dripping with honey. And according to this passage, as you study it, it even further, um, those who are full won't take all the honey that's out of the comb because it gets a little bitter the further it goes in. So they would just throw it on the ground. And to me, that's, that's amazing because the poor, those who are greatly in need would come along and even what tastes bitter would be so sweet to them. Because the overindulgence of some, they didn't realize what they really truly had. Because even, even though it seems sometimes in the cultures that we live in, I've been in different cultures and experienced different things. Some cultures, I'm going to speak right to Americans. Some Americans, this passage just reeks. When I wrote it, I thought, oh my goodness, my heart was breaking as I was writing it. Because it explains, it explains the world that we live in. Overindulgence. <laughs> We want and we have so much that we don't even realize what we have. And even the things that we see that seem so insignificant to us would be so such of great worth to those that are in need. And we just step on it like it's nothing. And I, that's, that's just such a disturbing thought in me that this is so painful for me to even talk about. I don't know if you've ever been to foreign countries. Most of us probably listening have been to mission fields in some some places and I, I had the opportunity of actually interviewing people in foreign countries and families and what often grabbed my heart and twisted it and made it seem so um, so conflicted was they would live off dirt floors with very 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 few resources and yet when I would ask how can I pray or what is your what is your greatest need most of them could not even figure find a need all they could do was look at the beauty of what they truly had and were truly experiencing that because they had such deep relationships, deep honor for each other. They lived in community with each other. They, and that they had nothing that of need. That to me was awestruck because I would come back to, you know, when you land and you land and you, you know, back into the United States, there's this thing that smacks you in the face of, Man, we throw away things that these people could really use and don't even think twice about it. And it puts me in such an, I'm so unappreciative, it seems like, for what I truly have been given. Now, this wasn't to make us feel guilty as Americans as much as it was. I pray that you will just live one day, me and myself included, just appreciating the resources and the beauty of what we have been given. And my goodness, give 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 away and it just appreciate what you have been